Hey guys, this is uh, Jacques from Makulu Linux and today I'm going to be showing off uh, the new public release candidate of Makulu Linux 13 Lindos. Okay, so this is dev build 2.03. The last dev build, the last public build we did I think was 1.50, which was still considered alpha this, well, beta 1 maybe. Um, this is beta 2. 0.03 so beta 2 basically and this is considered the first real stable build of lindos now i'm going to be showing you what's new what's updated and you know what's been fixed and just take you through the os so you can kind of get a visual um visual glimpse into what's happened since the last public release okay so one of the first things i want to point out is the fact that um we've upgraded cinnamon the cinnamon which is used for lindos um from 2.88 i think it was to 3.07 okay so cinnamon has been updated to 3.07 the kernel's been updated to 4.8 okay and uh it now comes in both 64-bit and 32-bit previously it was only 64-bit it now comes in both 64-bit and 32-bit so I'm pretty sure any 32-bit user will be happy about that okay um, the other major fix was the fact that you couldn't right click on the menu if you did right click on the menu it would freeze the system that has been fixed so you can now right click and choose configure and you can go through all the menu options there is a lot of options to change many things in this menu um, that's why it's called configurable menu um, the developer did a great job with this menu and so you can just go ahead and configure your menu as you please you can right click there it will not freeze your system so that's a big bonus for the guys that love to mess, mess around with your menu okay so uh, <clears throat> that's a major bug fixed okay the other thing to note here is that previously we were using the trusty repos for uh, main updates and i think the Raphael repos that has been upgraded to sarah and zanayel so it's using the 1604 lts repos for core updates as well as the sarah repos so this system the previous build would have expired in 2019 i think the trusty re the, the trusty update stop this one is upgraded to 2021 okay so it extended the life by what three years um so yeah the nile is now used for the core updates the the base updates okay so that is pretty cool um it has extended the life of the os basically and also make sure that you get newer software listed in your software manager and so forth Okay, so I'm gonna just quickly run through some changes, um, major changes since 1.50. AppGrid is now the default software center. It's nice and fast, very snappy. Of course, uh, my internet's not so snappy, so the pictures take a, a little bit to pop up. Um, but if you look at, okay, let's look at something that's pre-installed, VLC, which is pre-installed. As you can see, there's a launch button, a remove button and it has a, a couple of preview pics as well as information here uh, you can read all about what the app's all about and you can read reviews of the app and then if i go back and i take something that's not installed like kemp it also shows little previews um, packages gives you a breakdown of the item reviews and an install button if you click it it will simply quickly install so app grid nice and fast much faster than the default software centers that usually get used okay the other major change is that opera comes installed by default you can install your own browser if you wish to do so but opera is pretty nice and snappy it's been configured um, this is the new opera running on the chrome engine and also it does have full flash support so you can run your flash <laughs> in the new Lindos, but you can install Firefox or Chrome quite easily. 
Some of the other changes, I guess, would be a lot of skinning and theming, blending of colors, making, adding a little bit more transparency and just overall polishing of uh, themes and colors. So that's pretty cool. Um, you've also got the update, app get update, which refreshes, re refreshes your packages quite easily just by one click. And it's very uh, unintrusive and just runs in the background, which is pretty cool for uh, just a quick one one click app get update no need to type anything except your password so just let that run in the background you'll also see some nice transparencies on the menus just overall polishing all over this system okay um a couple of the other updates is we've actually done away with the actual toolbox and separated um, items into their own little boxes so you've got a, a separate donation box so if you click on donate it will pop up a little window and you can just simply click there and head to the donation which will open up a actually in your actual browser and it will just take you straight to the paypal meet makulu linux so you can just enter number and go through next next quite easy very simple and painless um, the same with the bug report if you want to report a bug you just open bug report click on bug report and it's pretty quick you know um, it will okay my net's not the fastest but I mean the, 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 the initial opening of apps is very snappy um, here we go it comes up to takes you straight to the bug report section and you can just click on create a ticket and add your new bug if you have any bugs or you can come look at the existing bugs that are listed here okay so very easy to use very easy to manage uh, very simple and straightforward some of the other new um, software is stacer which is a really nice little GUI for showing your system resources uh, of course play on Linux is installed WPS office is installed um, if we open up WPS office quite snappy as well you'll see it looks a lot like Microsoft office um, in fact, it looks very much like Microsoft Office, very easy to use. It will make people that come from the Windows um, environment very comfortable um, using this as their general daily office. Of course, you can install Libra if that's your preference or OpenOffice. Um, they are in the repos. Um, okay, and uh, some of the other default, you, you know, get the normal default calculator and LeafPad. And um, and the games you get Steam of course play on Linux a couple of other regulars and the graphics you get Nomax which is a, a, a image viewer you get Pencil 2D which is pretty cool little um, sort of Microsoft Paint kind of app and you get Pinta as well and the internet okay now um, I've added Dropbox and Dropbox support uh, Mega Sync and as well as uh, the G over overdrive which is the um, Google online cloud storage okay so with Google you'll get 15 gigs of free space 15 gigabytes of free space with Dropbox you'll get two with Megasync you get 50 okay so that gives you 67 gigabytes of free online storage 67 that's with just creating a free account on each of those. If you have an account already, you will know how they work. These are all native clients. They work pretty cool, pretty easy. I'm not gonna boot them up now because then I'm gonna have to log in. And, but they are there, okay? So you get 67 gigabytes of free online storage with Lindos. That's pretty cool. The default messenger here is in, uh, Pigeon Messenger, Skype as well. And you've got Thunderbird Mail as your default mail client, okay? You've also got the Universal Document Viewer, which is PDFs and, and a couple of other formats. Um, you've got Rhythmbox as your default uh, audio player. You've got Sound Recorder in there as well. And you've got VL media, VLC Media Player as your default media player. Wine is pre-installed, which is pretty cool. And it's at the latest build, 2.4. You've also got a nice GUI application vineyard for uh, um, managing your wine you can literally come here and set up your wine box uh, appearance places devices um, you can really really mess around in here and it's really great for managing wine just out of the box I mean there you can literally go control panel 
uh, set up your control panel uh, register editor this is so so this is gold really this is gold out of the box right at your fingertips um, it just makes managing wine so much easier so yeah um, preferences you have the usual including Bluetooth fully operational administration you've got uh, bleach bit as well pre-installed um, of course you also have your Kulu constructor which allows you to create a clone of your existing system into ISO format to reinstall on a new PC okay so that's a breakdown you've also got your driver manager synaptic package manager and of course you've got software updater now previously we used the mint updater but you know it, it has its uh, woos and so we decided to go with a default software updater okay so you can get updates easily from that okay so that's a breakdown of mainly your main software that comes pre-installed on the system now i am running this inside a virtual box so um, it's not running at top speed on actual hardware this does move a lot faster it is quite snappy okay so if we look at uh, visual visual looks wise uh, out of the box it looks stunning it comes with the default windows 7 gray look the windows 7 blue controls and the windows 7 blue shell theme however there are a bunch of other themes available um, you know, I can't actually even remember what is all in Windows One, uh, Windows 1.50. Um, I think Whistler might be new. Uh, I'm not quite sure what exactly I've done. There's been many builds since then that I've released to the testers, but I'll just run through the ones available. So you've got the Windows Whistler, you've got the Windows 10, the Windows 3.1, the Windows 7, the Windows 8, the Windows Classic. Windows Vista, Windows XP. So you've got pretty much everything covered here. You can change your um, themes to pretty much whatever you want. Uh, I'll run through one or two of them just so you can kind of see what kind of effect you can have on your desktop. Let's say we go to the old XP. So we switch to XP there. We switch to um, an XP uh, mouse cursor. We switch the controls to XP. We switch the icons to XP and we switch the borders to XP. As you can see, we've got a very XP kind of look and feel to the system. Even if we open up a new folder, you've got the very, very, very XP look and feel. So that's pretty awesome. You can also go much older than XP. Let's go to the Windows 9 times and set the icons there to the three and nine times controls as well we'll set that to the nine times and the uh, icons and of course you've got to go to the borders as well now you'll see you've got this very very old look working fully operational out of the box you can mess around with this you can set many themes um, you can go through the whole spectrum so that's pretty cool, very awesome. Let's switch back to the default. The mouse cursors also change. As you can see, that's the old cursor. Um, you know, you can even see this if you open something that sort of, you can see that you see the hourglass there. You see the hourglass, kind of the XP mouse. So the, the, the actual mouse cursors look pretty cool as well. They actually change with the system. So, um, <clears throat> just go back to the defaults there we go now the uh, wallpapers are controlled with wallpaper changer the clock on the desktop the quotes on the desktop and the wallpaper so they change if you go to your preferences you'll see they change every two hours or you can tick for them to change on start okay and if you go through the actual background list there's a whole bunch of wallpapers here that will automatically change with the system now if you don't want to um, use the wallpaper changer you want to change it manually you can just exit the wallpaper changer or you can set their preferences not to start up with the system and you can go to change background and just change your backgrounds manually as you wish there are some really nice ones in here I can't remember what was in 1.5 I think most of these were in 1.5 there may be one or two new ones here um, but you can just change wallpapers manually there's some really really great stunning wallpapers that come with this release so um, that's pretty much wraps up the 
the look and feel um, as I said it comes with cinnamon 3.07 kernel 4.8 that's the other thing I want to show off it does come with uku pre-install now uku uh, is a kernel management tool it really simplifies installing kernels here you can go into settings and you can select whether you want to install an unstable kernel yes or no uh, you can set up some default settings here for yourself if you want um, once you've selected you can just go down here as you can see these are the kernels that are pre-installed you can click to remove them you can install 4.11 4.10 just click the install button and it will automatically install the kernel for you the whole process is automated so really nice little utility that is pre-installed for you okay so um yeah that i think covers pretty much the basics so you can go crazy playing with this uh, really enjoy using it it is very much up it's a it's a huge upgrade from 1.50 it's very stable at the moment it runs like a dream it looks gorgeous gorgeous out of the box i'm pretty sure the users will really enjoy using this so that's it from me this is the build, build that's gonna go public um yeah in a couple of days it should be live uh, you may even be watching this video after release um yeah that's it from me i hope you guys really enjoy this and please do remember to please donate to the project we really could use the funds um yeah a lot of work's gone into this we're just getting ready for a flash release which may even go live at the same time that this goes live if not a few days later some really great stuff coming um makulu's way this year so we really really could use some funding guys it's it's just a couple of clicks uh, to make a donation so yeah and please don't forget to subscribe for any more videos um, and i will chat to you guys soon i hope you guys enjoy using lindos it's a pleasure to make it and i hope it's a pleasure to use cheers